And when you do get into the water and you just see that sheer side of ice, it almost gives you vertigo. It disappears down into the depths. The world you're in is alien. The environment is incredibly hostile. You start to tune into the sounds. Fishes crack open and gas ex escapes and it feels like the world's just tipped up onto its side. I was fascinated with wildlife films from when I was a child. So I studied marine biology at university, but I was working at an aquarium as an overqualified guide, being surrounded by the environment that I wanted to work in, but not doing what I wanted to be doing. So there was a curator that worked there at the time. He said he wanted a researcher. I didn't know what it was for. It could have been anything, but I knew I wanted to be a, a wildlife filmmaker. I thought, well, I'll give it a go. It happened to be the Planet Earth series, and 12 years later, I'm still doing it. The first dive I ever did was probably one of the most satisfying experiences of my life. Your head goes underneath the surface for the first time and you start to swim and you realise that it is as good as you ever imagined it could be. You feel like you're flying in slow motion. You're surrounded by life of the most extraordinary kinds. And you realise that's it. Life's never going to be the same again. <laughs> One of the biggest motivators to take camera underwater was that it, it gave me a sense of purpose. It's so unlike anything that you see on land. You never know when you're going to see something that no one else has seen before and it could help our understanding of how things live underwater and how things work. We still know so little about the biology and the ecology of life under the surface. It needs people to witness it, to feel something. And what I want to try and do is get that feeling into the camera. <laughs> 